Hi guys, my name is Stephanie. If you're new here, hello and welcome. If you're not new here, hi, welcome back. You know what time it is. You guys, it's been a month. We're going to be doing a month of empties here and there's, there's a lot. So, um, I would say grab a drink, grab a snack, go to the bathroom, put your feet up or clean your room, do some laundry. It might take that long. <laughs> it's, there's a lot. Um, so yeah. Let's just talk about what um, what I went through for the month of January, shall we? Delio, what am I drinking? Well, it is my cheat day, and well, not necessarily a cheat day, but it's I'm not fasting today, so I am having a Chardonnay, and this is called Layer Cake Chardonnay, Layer Cake Creamy Chardonnay. Uh, focus. There we go. Layer Cake creamy Chardonnay. This is actually, um, so it's from California. Um, this one, which is weird because as I'm reading on it, um, it's saying that it's New Zealand, but the bottle says California. Anyways, um, this one, creamy Chardonnay, Bright, sassy fruits, tropical aroma, and a long, creamy finish is the short version. Um, the long version, the website version, says juicy pear, honey crisp apple, soft guava, and tropical aromas. So that's what you're going to smell on the nose. Then creme brulee, vanilla cream, buttery pie crust, toasted butterscotch on the finish. So that's pretty much what I get. And it's not like you're eating a buttery crusty. It's not like that. It's the nuances. It's just a nice creamy, but when I, and it says buttery pie crust, this is not movie theater, butter popcorn. I like that Chardonnay, but this isn't it. Um, this is just nice and smooth and creamy. This is one that would go, in my opinion, because of the nose on it, um, would go really well with the char charcuterie board. I keep wanting to say char charcuterie board because that, that's what we say at work. Um, it would go really well with a charcuterie board. So um, I'm almost tempted to pick up another bottle and um, on my next non-fasting day just pull out a big spread that would be fantastic anyways so that's what i'm drinking what am i wearing you ask well let me tell you i'm wearing flower bomb nectar by victor and rolf so that's what that looks like there you go so there's that this one is don't let the notes scare you. This is very sweet and girly and feminine and it's so, it's so pretty. Um, sometimes I don't like, um, like the regular one. I don't like, I feel like it's really basic, but this one just had something a little more special to it that I enjoyed. Um, this one is your top notes is gunpowder. Cassis, bergamot, middle notes are osmanthus, orange blossom, and jasmine sambac. So the orange blossom really comes out for me. I love orange blossom. Then your base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin, and patchouli. So um, the patchouli is just to add a little depth to it. I am not picking up any 
like dirty, earthy. I'm not picking up any of that. It's just, honestly, it's just a really beautiful, um, I, I really enjoy this one. Um, I haven't worn a lot of it cause I got this, uh, when did I get this? I probably got this in August, September last year. And I was like ready to wear the heavier perfumes. Um, but I mean, as you can tell, I have, I have worn a, a bit of it. So now that it's in my brain, like I'm transitioning over to spring, summer, that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. So there's that. Okay, you guys, um, let's talk about some empties. I'm going to do Scentsy first. I will timestamp it. For those who only want to watch Scentsy, I will do that at the beginning. For those of you who don't want anything to do with Scentsy and you just all about the vendor, that'll be after the Scentsy. Um, and to me, I feel like there is room for everyone who loves home fragrance whether it's Walmart Scentsy it's just it's your preference and that's fine and I would say for those who are um kind of mm, how do I say this nicely I won't watch anything that has Scentsy in it or I won't watch anything that has vendor in it we can all really get along because it's home fragrance and there's really like that's all it's about we we love our house to smell really really good and I enjoy it all if there's something I like I'm gonna melt it I'm gonna buy it I don't care who it's from plain and simple so the Queen have spoken let's talk about what I melted okay all right so first off I got through a brick of sugar cookie um, like I've said before, I can get through a whole brick if I put something in every single warmer downstairs in my house. So, um, there was, I was in like a reset cleaning mode a few weeks ago and I had a little bit of squeeze the day left. So there's squeeze the day. This light, I know. I'm sorry. There you go. Squeeze the day. And then sugar cookies. So I put what was left. I think there was like four, three of these. And I cut them in half. Maybe there was four and I cut them in half. And then the rest went throughout. And then I had enough that I was able to put them in my warmers upstairs. Um, I will tell you that even that was almost too much squeeze a day is very very strong this is one that I would say one every three warmers and I I actually had to open up my door this was like every other warmer the way I cut it um, it was still really strong it was beautiful though this combination the sugar cookie and the squeeze a day beautiful beautiful combination so let me read you the the notes on this so let's see and they both begin with an s so that's good i just have to go down here real quick so squeeze oh i'm in rose girls we don't want to go to rose girls today not at the moment maybe later Oh my gosh, my brain. Okay, so squeeze the day is pure lemons and vanilla cream. I would 100% agree with that. It is a really beautiful lemon, um, but because of that vanilla cream, um, it makes it not, like I don't get a vanilla or a vanilla. I don't get a lemon um, cleaner vibe. It's a lemon and it's beautiful and it's bright and she's strong, y'all. She is so strong. Um, beautiful lemon and vanilla. And then we have the sugar cookie along with that. And that is a warm blend of butter, sugar, and creamy vanilla. It was beautiful. My house smelled so good. And so, yeah, so this, I only had like four, one, two, three, four, maybe five. I can't even remember, but I cut them in half, um, because I don't, I'm thinking if I cut it in half, that's two cubes. And I usually put two cubes in each warmer. So there's that. Um, and then sugar cookie 
in the rest of the warmers throughout the house. That's that. And then I got through some um, Holly Jolly Cider. So this one was really nice as well. I feel like it just got dark all of a sudden. There we go. Um, Holly Jolly Cider. This one was good. It was light. I was really surprised. I hadn't melted it yet. Um, I think I gave my other tree. I did. I gave my other tree to my mom. I had another one of these and she really liked it. So I just gave it to her because this is really light for me. It was pretty, um, but it wasn't anything I needed to hold on to. It's nothing that I needed to add to club, but I'm glad I got through that. And that was it for my bricks. Let's move on to my the bars. I got through two of Mistress of Evil. I love this one. I am so glad it got voted back because every time I see it in clearance or in bundles, not bundles, but every time I see it in clearance, I buy it. Um, so Mistress of Evil is Gardenia, Musk, Blood Orange, Satsuma, and Plum. This is dark. This is rich. It's, um, I would say that Plum and that Blood Orange really come alive. The Gardenia and the Musk, um, help to kind of not, not perfumify it, but really just, um, it's a beautiful scent. Um, yeah, I enjoy this. Where did I put this? I put this in four of the warmers here, four of the warmers here, and then some of my warmers out in my entryway. Cause I really just wanted it in this back area in the office. I was just working in here. So two of those, um, then I think I did a blend. I did do a blend. This was a fun, fun blend that I did. Oh my gosh. My house smelled so good. So, um, six gets me all the warmers in my downstairs. I did three around the campfire. So this is one of my absolute favorites. This is a cult favorite. Everyone loves this. Not everyone, but a lot of people love this one. So around the campfire is mountain air, fallen wood, and smoky embers. A beautiful smoky scent. And I would say the longer this sits, the better off it is. I love, love this one. It is in my club. It's not going out. I don't even care if during the holiday, during the fall, um, winter catalog, when it's out, um, I always leave it in my club. It's never coming out of my club. And then when I got in a D stash, you guys, I got brownie batter. So alternating warmers, oh, brownie batter and around the campfire. Oh my goodness. It was so freaking delicious and yummy and smoky and ah oh, so good so this is brown um, baked brownie cocoa powder and vanilla bean oh my goodness i would definitely buy brownie butter again if i saw it absolutely because i don't know if i would melt it on its own but with the fire oh so good. Um, so testing out, this is vanilla walnut. This is part of the bring back my bar for January. So this is uh, toasted walnut and vanilla bean. Beautiful. Added it to my club. Love this one. Then I did woodland suede. Um, also part of, I think it was also part of a bring back my bar. Um, Let's see here, Woodland Suede. I probably have it written down here if it is or not. I don't. Um, this is Red Oak, Smoky Cedar, Suede Musk, and Winter Lemon. The lemon scared me, that's why I never got it. But, 
Oh, this is sexy. This is so sexy. This is, mm. this is a, it's, it's masculine without being cologne -y. And, oh, love this one. Staying in my club. I wish I got more than one in my club. That would be fantastic. I have a piece of hair. There we go. Um, cozy Fireside. Cozy Fireside is warm spice notes with zesty ginger and cinnamon. Love this one. And it is a red hot cinnamon, I will tell you. Really, really pretty, spicy, and it is a red hot cinnamon, but so good. Um, toasted apple butter. This is um, creamy butter, ripe apples, and rich spices. This was good, but honestly, I there there's another apple that I like better than this. This wasn't bad, but not my favorite. Did not add that to club. Um, then frosted ginger cookie. I did buy more of this. I had it in my club, but I took it out because it's fine. But it wasn't like, oh my God, I love this. I have to have this in my club. Um, chewy brown sugar cookie, warm ginger, and vanilla. So absolutely, when you first smell it, you're thinking fruity pebbles. But to me, um, on warm especially, it smelt like fresh grated ginger. And it was really really pretty and unusual and bright you could totally overdo it with this bad boy though um, a little goes a long way so be very careful with that one um, then Christmas cottage cider this one was good this one is honey mold spices cinnamon stick and Valencia orange I like this one I didn't think I would but I um, really liked it. I have a few backup bars of this one. Um, I will be happy to melt it. I think I had it in my club, but I took it out. I'm trying to do better with my club and not panic. Um, caramel sugar cone. So, so stinking good. This is gooey caramel, vanilla sugar cone, and malt. Mm. Yeah absolutely pick up the sugar it does smell like brown sugar like oh, buttery and sugary really pretty like that one um, and then the other day so when I'm fasting I don't like to have um, scents I don't like to have bakery scents going because that would just drive me bonkers if I was smelling food. Um, so what I did throughout my house, four of the Starburst Sky. Um, this is sweet apple, whipped vanilla, creamy coconut, and amber blossom. Um, a lot of people say this uh, reminds them of Baccarat Rouge. There absolutely is a Baccarat Rouge vibe. I would say Baccarat Rouge and um, Ariana Grande's cloud kind of like the like they had babies is what I get with this one really really pretty um, so this one I put throughout my house I think this was blended also with um, oh what was it it was a teddy bees it was like a cashmere so the other day when my mom came over and dropped my daughter off they were just like, oh, it smells so good in here. So that's what I had going. Um, and then I got through a Pinkberry Fluff. This one was in my club, took it out of my club. This is Pinkberry, Marshmallow, and Vanilla Bean. Really pretty. I, I like it, but there are other like perfumey scents I like a little more. And I have the Starburst Sky. I have... Um, white sands I have cashmere pear like I like those a little bit better than this one so 
but this was pretty. Also trying to go through and melt my stuff. So, um, cashmere and corduroy. This is actually the first time that I have melted a cashmere and corduroy. I added this to my club. This was really pretty. I was surprised. So vanilla, Sicilian, bergamot, cashmere, sandalwood. I really, really like this one. This was a beautiful scent. Um, this is one I would melt throughout my whole house. Um, but this was just in my bedroom. Um, typically, if it's just one and I haven't tried it before, I will melt it in my bedroom so, so I can kind of get an idea of where would I melt this. I would melt this everywhere in my house. Um, and then I went through, I got through Angel experiment 624 I was going to say 576 5309 you know you know um, so this one is really nice this one is goji berry blackberry sweet vanilla cream and sugar cane I liked this one I had it in my club I took it out of my club and I think it's coming back so I might add it to my club or I might just buy more um, I didn't realize I had more even though it's in I have five bars um, and I pulled them out because I'm doing I was transitioning my fall winter to my spring summer and these were in a box so my whole transition of my wax you guys is a whole nother story um, I had to buy a bookshelf because what I realized is that I can look at my spreadsheet all day long my spreadsheet is just words on a screen but when I pulled all the like my spring summer wax out of the box like I had them boxed up and put in a closet when I combined that with my fall winter Oh my gosh, I was really overwhelmed and shocked, shocked at myself. So, um, yeah, I bought some shelves so I could put everything. It's, it's visible. It's all visible. <laughs> so that's a whole nother story. And, a, and another video, I will show you guys my, um, my wax, not separate wax collection, but how I'm storing my wax and what's what. So anyways, another long story. Um, okay, so Frosted Vanilla. I really enjoyed this one. You guys know me and Peppermint and Mint, not a huge fan. But this one, this is Sweet Vanilla, Birch, Bark, and Frosted Air. This is beautiful. Also one I would put throughout my house. Beautiful in the bedroom, um, but absolutely throughout my whole house. I would put that in there. Dashing, another one. I did add this one to my club. There you go. Um, dashing is vanilla and mahogany. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. This is also a masculine, really nice. Um, it's, it's masculine without being cologne but slight. I don't want to say slight cologne but slight cologne, just really nice. Like this is not a, a heavy hitter cologne. This is like someone who literally maybe he sprayed a couple sprays up in the air and walked through it. So you sort of kind of get in it, but not really. Then, um, cashmere pear. Love, love this one. This one is white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and red ginger. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. And the red ginger gives it just a little bit of that zing. Um, a lot of people say that this is a bedroom scent. This is also just a really beautiful um, and elegant scent that I would melt everywhere. If I had enough bars, I would melt it everywhere. But I don't. Um, pumpkin roll. This one I think is still in my club. And I have, I have a few bricks of that. Um, this is pumpkin pie filling, yellow cake, pecans, butter, and spice. I do enjoy this one. 
so much. There's that spice and I don't feel like I pick up, it's not like a red hot cinnamon spice. This is a, um, a really nice, um, oh, how do I describe this? I do pick up like that, like a cinnamon spice, but it's not red hot. It's, it's like you, um, blended, um, cinnamon and sugar together. Like you're getting ready to make cinnamon sugar toast. And that's what you're smelling is that sugar and cinnamon. So that's what I smell with the pumpkin roll. Um, I did melt the candy orchid. Ooh, I was really surprised, really, really surprised. And Oh, here it is. So candy orchid is, um, spun sugar, sweet raspberry, and warm vanilla. This vanilla really helped. This was really pretty and sweet and perfumey and girly. Um, I would melt this everywhere. Enjoyed this one tremendously. Um, put it in my club and, um, kept some bars from the um, scent of the month box. Toasted caramel sugar. Also a really, really fun one. Really nice. This is uh, warm milk, caramelized sugar, and toffee. Mm, this is so pretty. I love a gooey toffee, caramelly sugar, warm. I love all of that. So really good. That one I did put in my club. Um, another one that got added to my club. This is Everything Nice. This is either a love or hate. I don't know anyone who says, uh, it's okay. Or, uh, yeah, usually it's people like, oh my God, it smells like baby food. Or, oh my God, I really love this. I'm the, oh my God, I really love this. This is, um, Deep caramel, butter, roasted pumpkin, and glazed pecans. I smell all of that. And on warm, oh, but on cold, I smell the butter and the pecans. It's like I'm smelling a, uh, like almost like a pumpkin pecan pie is the vibe I get with this. And I'm not mad. It's been a while since I had a really good pecan pie. I know Costco has one. Um, and by the time I got around, like I bought it and then froze it. And then we went up to visit some friends at a cabin and I brought it with me and had a slice and it just, I, I'm looking for really good pecan pie, you guys. Ugh. Um, next is bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. This is tropical banana, coconut milk, and island vanilla. Um, on first sniff. Yes, people are going to say it smells like Laffy Taffy. I would agree with you that banana does. But as you smell it more, I feel like that Island Vanilla is more of a, um, it's more body care. So this gives me um, almost like you had a Laffy Taffy in your hand. You know, you can smell like the sugary on your hands. But you also just, okay, you put it on some vanilla lotion, really nice, yummy, gooey vanilla lotion, and then you're eating a Laffy Taffy. That's the vibe I get with this. It is not straight up, in my opinion, straight up Laffy Taffy. There's something else to this. There's a creamy vanilla. I had it, excuse me, I had it in my club and I took it out only because there's, I prefer like a banana bread vibe versus just straight up banana. And yes, I do like to, to do like blends and mixes, but if I don't have to, then I don't want to miss that person. Um, amaretto. This was part of the bring back my bar as well. This is almond, honey, and spice. Love it. In my club, um, I ended up buying a ton of these because I am blending it with king cake because it smells really close to almond croissant, which is my number one favorite, favorite, favorite Scentsy bar. And I need them to bring almond croissant back or I need it to be voted back. Please, for the love of all things that is Scentsy smell good, we need to vote back almond croissant. Love it. But in the meantime, 
amaretto, and king cake. Really well. Works for me. Then, uh, fried ice cream, also in my club. Love this one. This is so just fun and, and gourmandy. This is nutty cinnamon, vanilla, nutty cinnamon, and caramel. And it's cinnamony, but it is, once again, a cinnamon sugar, fresh cinnamon sugar. It's not red hot cinnamon. Two more from the Scentsies, and then we will be done. Um, I got through a maraschino sugar cookie. This one is sugar cookie dough, vanilla, and maraschino cherry. Really yummy. This is one that um, I melted. So... Was it Saturday? Today is Friday. Thursday. Today is Friday. Friday the 9th. We lost power. We had a really bad storm, windstorm. Two power poles broke. Um, we were out of power for about three days. But thank goodness I have tea lights. I really was tired of burning my candles. My candles don't give me a whole lot of scent. Um, thank you, Harry Slacken. Um... So, great light, but not a whole lot of scent. And when you have like four or five Harry Slacken candles going in your house, you're expecting to smell something. Well, I didn't. So, I have, I had four or five tea lights and um, gathered them and put them in the living room area where we were all hanging out and did maraschino cherry, cherry maraschino sugar cookie. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. Don't ask. Um, and you could smell it and it was super yummy and beautiful. And I needed that uplifting because we were out of power. Um, and then whipped vanilla pear. I do really like this one. However, there are, there we go. There are other pears, pear notes, pear wax notes. I like better. I had it in my club, took it out of my club. This is nice, but there's other pair I like better than Scentsy's pair. So, all right, you guys, that is done with Scentsy. Um, so if that's all you're here for, thank you so much for watching. And um, let's move on to some Thunder Rock, shall we? Okay, so got some vendor wax. Um, one of my new finds last year of vendor wax is called South of Sanity. And he very much is not about like the, the floofy gourmands. He's gonna make, his stuff is a little heavier and grittier and just super fun wax though. So I melted Mad Hatter's Tea Party. So there's that. Let me get down into South of Sanity so I can read these. Oh, I have the notes here. So this is um, English Tea, Citrus Zest, Pineapple, and Cilantro. This one was really strong, you guys. Um, and the Citrus and Cilantro, so good. I... I wasn't sure with the English tea, but I think the English tea kind of like um, tames down. If that wasn't in here, this, the zest, the pineapple, and the cilantro would almost, it, it was almost too much. But I think that this English tea worked really, really nice. I had this up in my bedroom. I was cleaning. So I had that bright, energetic citrus thing going on. This was a lot of fun. This lasted all freaking day, all day. And just put one cube in every warmer, just one. I didn't need any more than that. So this was really freaking fun and good. Um, the other one that I, oh, this one was so good. I'm absolutely going to be re repurchasing, repurchasing this. This is called werewolf. Um, so werewolf is musk and woods. And this was really, really nice. This is one um, that people would probably say 
just for the bedroom, but I would melt this everywhere. This was just an, done in my bedroom. I only, like, when I bought these, it was just one of each. And I really wanted to make it a point to really melt these and get a good idea of what it was. So this one, really good. I would absolutely repurchase again. Beautiful scent. Also, these are, these last a long time. At least in my bedroom, they did. Um, this one, oh, huh. this is Palo Santo and Charcoal. This one is um, Sweet Smoky, Palo Santo, Charred Charcoal, Charcoal, and Bergamot. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is very, this is smoky. Charred wood. A little bit of that sweetness from the Palo. This just, this is really, really good. This is fun. Um, I, it. I think for me, if I melted this downstairs, I would want this, I would blend it with something else. However, up in the bedroom, mm, it's a little sexy. Um, DK, this one, you guys, um, this was, I, I melted this downstairs. What did I melt it with? I melted it with something else. Was it, it was with another vendor. And I had my daughter used a cube and I wanted to use the other five. So I have 15, 14 between in my open concept, living room, dining room, kitchen. I have 14 warmers. So this was, I could smell just with the five cubes. I could smell it even though I had blended, even though alternating warmers, I did something else. I don't remember what it was. Um, this is earth, dirt, mud, and decaying leaves. Absolutely. Absolutely was. This was so fun. This is absolutely, this is, uh, it's like you had, like if you walked into a shed and, and you had your lawnmower there and, um, like you had ra you raking leaf like it's just it's wet and it's grassy and it's dirt this was super fun so this is called decay if you like a really good earthy leafy like realistic you just traced mud and wet leaves throughout your house decay that's a good one um, I got through some, a few samples. So this is Rose Girl, Serendipity, Cotton Candy, Frosting, Gilligan's Brew, and Cookie Land. Enjoyed that one. Um, this is from that Smell Good shop. This is Bloodline. So coffee, sugar cookie, and whipped cream. Also good. Um, didn't last very long. Wasn't as strong as I was hoping. Um, this is where banana, where bananas for Tiffany. So banana, vanilla wafers, pudding, toffee, chocolate buttercream, and cake. I don't know where I got this sample from, but oh my goodness, you guys, this worked really well. This was freaking strong. Um, it, I melted it in my bedroom and it was strong. A little samples in here. Put that back here. Okay. Um, I got through Sassy Girl Maple Bourbon. Yes, please. Sassy Girl Roasting S'mores. This was okay. This was good. Um, wasn't like... Yeah, I... I, I wasn't sure... I don't know. I, I don't think I would get that one. The the bourbon I would, though. Um, another Sassy Girl. This is Cranberry Sugared Cider. This one, really good. Shocked me. Love it. Yeah, I would, I would get that one again. Um, this is Sassy Girl Pumpkin Latte. It's pumpkin and it's latte. It's good. Oh, you guys, this one. I need to keep my eye out on this one. This is sugar or K 
Candy Crush from Sassy Girl. Oh my goodness, this is so good. Love, love this one. I'm actually going to keep it here so that when I can remember when I see it that I want it. Um, Teddy Bees with Staff Manor. Yes, and yes, I did buy some Whip Staff Manor. Freaking good. Loved it. Then Second and Spruce Little Tree Cake. Oh, so good. So good. So good. Yes. Second and Spruce, one of my top favorite vendors. Love it. Okay. Now we are on to the big boys. Woo. This thing, you guys. I say it every time. You know what it is? Do you see that? These things, they like right on my dang skull. <sighs> I don't know how much of a queen I am that I I kept you guys waiting on my empties. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Um, let's see here. Swanky. This is warm and cozy. You know what? Let's go down to Swanky. Maybe. 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 Ha! No, it's going to be up here. I tried to do this in, in order, but it's not always in order. Okay, Swanky. Here we go. Warm and cozy Palo Santo Marshmallow Fireside Cream Cake. This one, beautiful, love it, would absolutely purchase it again. Vanilla Cream Bomb. Um, I don't have notes on this. This was from a D stash. Really, really good. This one was very, um, I wouldn't necessarily say it was body care but it also wasn't overly gourmand it was like right down the middle my house smelt fantastic um and then i did my darling pumpkin my darling vanilla eggnog gingerbread vanilla eggnog and gingerbread really nice i would i would buy all of these all over again swanky's another one that um does really good in my house and she has phenomenal elegant bougie it's totally my vibe love it um i did get through rose girls i did a fire mario christmas eve cookie land this is eggnog royal sugar cookie monster cookie marshmallow smoothie donut holes yada 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 donut holes marshmallow fireside and espresso beans this one um i'm gonna have to start double bagging my rose girls because this was super super light and gave off very it didn't throw very well in my house so i think i'm gonna have to double bag them and really um pay attention and you guys, I have multiple warmer, multiple style warmers, multiple wattage warmers, plus the teat. Like I just, um, I think it's because I, I didn't double bag. So, um, but when I got close, it was fantastic. All right. And then we have a little bit of sassy girl going on here. So sassy girl, this is ab absolutely fabulous fabulous latte so um, um it's easier for me to read it here white chocolate there you go so this is white chocolate sweet cream toasted coconut sweet vanilla coffee and caramel really really works well in my home I got through a brittle of cheesy pumpkin so pumpkin caramel cinnamon nutmeg cheesecake ginger allspice cloves and graham cracker crust fantastic would absolutely purchase cheesy pumpkin again i don't need to because <laughs> uh i 
I have a lot. Um, well, I don't have that much. I have two. I have two more brittles. So, um, coffee, cookies, and bread. So good. This one was fantastic. You could definitely smell the bread with the coffee on this one. So this is sugar cookie dough, fresh brewed coffee, and zucchini bread. So good. Eh. There you go. Ghost Stories is campfire toasted marshmallow, melted chocolate, and sweet graham crackers. Yes, and yes, would purchase it again. I got through pumpkin butter. This is whipped pumpkin, toasted cinnamon, creamy vanilla, and butter. This was a loaf that I cut up. This is rolling scones. This is um, pumpkin, pecan waffles, vanilla bean noel, and sugar cookies. Really good. Love that one. This is a mini loaf of Southside Serpent. So hint of smooth leather, leather tobacco, sweetened marshmallow, and sweet bakery. Enjoyed that one tremendously. Um, and I got this on a D stash. Thank goodness I have more because I really like this one. This is winter biscuits. So this is sweet scent of Christmas baking perme permeates the home with warm hints of cinnamon, butter pastries, gingerbread cookies, and patchouli. So I would say that the gingerbread cookies and the patchouli, um, gave it depth. I'm not smelling like heavy on the gingerbread, heavy on the patchouli. It just gave it this, um, it beautiful. I can see why people love winter biscuits and I'm glad I got to try it and I'm glad I got to buy it. So there's that. Um, I got through from pharmacist daughter. This is all your cake. Pharmacist Daughter is also another one that does really well in my home. This is a house blend of marshmallow fireside, warm vanilla. Okay, there we go. Warm vanilla. Um, glazed donuts. Oh, warm vanilla pound cake and glazed donuts. And my notes, I have PC, and I'm like, what is PC? I know what SPC is, but what is PC? Anyway, um, this was good. Enjoyed that. Did well in my home. And then we got Salt Mountain melts, you guys. Salt Melton does really well in my home, and I am so excited for her pre-order coming up. Um, this one I got in a D-stash. This is mm, fried dough. This one was really good. Um, oh, there it is. Secret House Blend Jelly Donut. That's all it says. This was a lot of fun. Um, definitely picked up on the jelly donut, um, nice and sweet. And, um, I, it wasn't like a floral jelly donut. It was, it was a very bakery. Um, and now that I know, knew when I saw that Ferris wheel was coming back, I was able to melt my loaf. One of my all time, all time favorite scents, Ferris wheel after dark. This is, um, caramel tobacco funnel cake and cotton candy. This one was poured July of 2022. You guys. I love this one. And this lasted all day and I could smell it the next day. I will tell you it will stain your warmers, but that's okay because it's absolutely 100% worth it. Love this one so much. And I have four loaves written down because that's what I'm getting. I'm getting four loaves of this. And I might actually buy some souffles as well. Then um, I got through Hungry Ghost. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie, and toasted marshmallow. Really yummy. Love this one. A beautiful bakery. Beautiful bakery. 
Um, Pine Ridge Farm, so good. So fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, toasted marshmallow. This one was cozy and um, definitely you, you pick up the pine, but it wasn't over the top. It was so freaking good. Okay, let's talk about some Teddy Beans, shall we? Um, this I got in a D-stash. This is Pink Embers. Ah, oh, man, I got stuff all over my nose. Pink Embers is pink sugar, sugar cookie, peppermint, vanilla, marshmallow, fireside. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, if I saw it, I would get it. This is really nice. Um, that... That mint was well blended with this. Um, where did I put this? I think this was upstairs because there's eight cubes. I think I put this upstairs, one in every warmer, and it was really, really nice up there. So I would melt that everywhere. Um, downstairs, I did Pumpkin Queen. Pumpkin Queen is, whoa. It's small writing is what that is. Pumpkin Queen is, I don't have minus 10 cup. I don't know what happened. Okay, Pumpkin Queen. This is pumpkin, clove, bourbon, toasted oat, vanilla, um, vanilla centaur. I can't even read my own notes, you guys. Pistachio? Pistachio finished with cashmere and cocoa butter. This was poured October of 2022. Beautiful. You're going to hear me say, I, Teddy Bees is beautiful. It's beautiful. She creates these blends that I would, that for me, I would think that I wouldn't like at all. Um, and I, I had to fix that number. That was weird. Um, yeah, she just creates these really beautiful blends that I wouldn't normally gravitate to, but I know with her I'm safe, if that makes sense, because she just does them beautifully. They're squid. They're just so nice. Um, fuzzy socks, you guys. This one, I absolutely love I would purchase again I am shocked I know we all are shocked I know this warm woods cashmere socks marshmallow fireside so with the cashmere socks I was worried I was thinking like laundry but uh, so 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 good and I would absolutely buy more of this this was um this was the most coziest cashmere woody it was so freaking good glad i got that um let's see here then i got through this is from a d stash this is milk of the poppy i did this one upstairs in my room um this one was started off light and then as the night went on i was like holy smokes this is really freaking awesome this is palo santo and rich creamy vanilla there's it not a whole lot to it but wow 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 yeah like i said i i it started off really light and i was like oh i don't know if this is gonna work in my room and then as the night went on i was like oh that's stunning really nice we have michael um, Michael, where are you? Michael, vanilla birch, mahogany vanilla, smooth marshmallow cream. Sexy, more on the masculine side for sure, but beautiful. Um, I, people, I, I'm going to say most people want to melt this in the bedroom. <clears throat> I had this downstairs around my house, uh, especially on a rainy day, rainy, cold day it was beautiful. I, another one, who am I, which would be crazy for lavender. What? 
also loved this one tremendously so witches be crazy so witches be crazy is um pecan waffles sugar cookie dough cinnamon spice vanilla right and then it's got the there's something else what am i why am i not Anyone see where I put my glasses? <laughs> Jeez. Which is be crazy blended with sweet lavender and marshmallows. This was really pretty. I love the Witches be crazy blend anyways. And um, <clears throat> for lavender, it's got to be sweet lavender. It's got to be blended with bakery and it has to be very much on the lighter side. I don't want to smell like I just walked into a spa. I don't like the herbal lavender. I don't want the lavender to be yelling at me. Um, I just needed to slow its roll and this was beautiful. Then crispy dream, you guys. Oh, ooh, this was donut shop. Uh, it's like I came home with a box of donuts and let me tell you, yes, yes. And I have no more. I had a loaf and I had a souffle and I used them. Though. Powdered donuts, cinnamon sugar donuts, old fashioned cake donuts. <clears throat> old fashioned cake donuts, toasted campfire donuts, burnt sugar. So good. So freaking good. There you go. So that's it for my teddy bees. I don't, I was hoping to make it in under an hour, but I don't know if that's going to happen. All right, second in spruce. So I got through, um, I did a pumpkin cashmere cookie. So creamy pumpkin cashmere cream sugar cookies. Absolutely would purchase this again. Love it. Pumpkin cream cold brew. So espresso whipped pumpkin Wait, whipped pumpkin, whipped cream, and vanilla cream. Um, I can tell you, Erica does coffee like no other. And her wax does absolutely phenomenal in my home. And um, I am so, so freaking excited for her pre-order and to buy more. I'm absolutely buying more of her wax. <clears throat> I have a lot of fall winter stuff. I am getting ready to film a video. I was tagged by April, April Lee wax queen. Um, and I had to pull out like what I, my stash, my spring summer stash. And I was actually surprised I had more wax than what I did for spring, summer, spring, summer from second and spruce. So, um, but I'm buying more. I love her stuff. Um, gingerbread village. This was so, so, so pretty and fun. It wasn't over on the overly gingerbready or spicy. It was just a beautiful baked buttery gingerbread. Love it. Um, oh, <clears throat> that's it. That's all I did this time around for second and spruce. Um, next I have <clears throat> two of scoopables. So I did almond cookie, three cakes. So yellow cake, birthday cake, cupcakes at Tiffany plus almond did really well in my home. Um, put basically something in every single warmer and it was just a beautiful bakery almond blend. And then, um, bag o blocks, bag o shapes. This is Santa's pipe. So Santa's pipe smells just like a pipe with cherry and tobacco nuances. Absolutely. I picked up more cherry. But it was like a smoke, it was not like, um, it wasn't cherry chapstick or medicinal. It was very tobacco, like, like a tobacco leaf type thing with the cherry. So really nice. Um, hi, what are you doing? Um, then I got through couple of knolls. So Furtastic Marshmallow Dream. So fur, pine, buttercream, sugar cookie, marshmallow, and sugar. <clears throat> Love this one. 
Knowles is another one that does fantastic in my home. Um, and then actually Travis from Knowles sent me um, peppermint I heart carbs. Um, I don't know if he was like, if he knows that <laughs> mint is not my favorite. So he was, you know, gave me some of his stash of this. Um, this is peppermint and I heart carbs. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. And if I saw it again, I would totally pick it up. So thank you, Travis, for sending that to me. Um, I got through a couple of the lavender and speckles. So I need a coffee. I need coffee and an IV. So this is Celtic Moon Spice, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Vanilla Waffle Cone, all blended deliciously with fresh brewed coffee. Um, I am really trying to figure out um, how to melt her, um, her wax in my home because it's just not wanting to work in my open concept and I am so frustrated because these smell amazing and I have so much I love I love love her wax I just am having a hard time getting it to perform so I'm still trying to like figure it out um, I'm definitely going to have to put um, a cube in each warmer and possibly even turn on my tea lights we shall see that so okay um, then I got through coffee and a shot of cynicism. This is coffee house, um, strawberry pound cake, raspberry jam and cupcakes at Tiffany's. Once again, I love these in the bags, but I'm having a hard time smelling them in my house. So I'm not giving up. I will, I will work to make these work. Um, pipe smoke and sugar cookies. This is pipe tobacco blended with maple bourbon and sugar cookie royale. Once again, love these in the bag. The set just oh, so, so good in the bag. I just need them to work in my home. Um, okay, you guys. So let's see here. Um, this one, I don't know. This is from... I don't know if you saw my haul, Cravings for Candles, right? C Cravings for Candles. Um, she makes these amazing, beautifully artistic, realistic wax melts um, that they're, it's a work of art and they're so fun and beautiful to see. So I know this looks like a piece of poo right now or, you know, unmentionable, but this is that pretzel shape. And I literally put one in every single warmer, every single warmer here. There's what, six back here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight, and then I have one here. I put one in every single warmer, and I couldn't smell anything. So, um, I if there was more scent oil in here, yes, I would buy these over and over again. However, I'm not going to buy it just for the looks. Um, that being said, I am not artistic like this. Um, so I don't know if the oil plays a part in um, how these are made to look realistic. I, I have no idea. I am not candle. I'm not a wax maker. I am not a wax shaper. Um, just shocked with the artistry that was done with this, but very underwhelmed with the scents. So that being said, um, I would say more scent oil needs to be put in here um, because if that were the case, I would absolutely buy more. It, they were so fun. It was a lot of fun to um, open up the packaging and see um, how creative it was, um, I am just, I'm floored by how realistic her wax melts were. So, um, I got through a vintage chic. This is Lucy and Ethel pistachio coconut pudding cake topped with marshmallows. I got this in a D stash. Love, 
Love this. This was from January of 2023, ready to be melted, ready to go. And it did phenomenal in my house. I'm glad I stocked up on some vintage chic scents. Um, then Dessa's is another one that does phenomenal in my house. This is coffee and donuts. Um, I got this from summer. This is rich coffee and sweet glazed donuts. Nice little there you go. There's that. Um, did phenomenal in my house. Oh, you guys. So this was her like bougie loaf or I don't know what she calls it, but this is the loaf is stunning. Um, this is called fireflies. This is roasted marshmallows, cedar wood, damp night air and campfire. You guys, I, this was absolutely beautiful you are absolutely smelling the damp night air i don't know how she does it but it was like you stepped outside after it had been raining and you're smelling like the wood it so pretty loved it <clears throat> and then gingerbread house so gingerbread molasses ginger clove and vanilla this is the most realistic <clears throat> fresh gingerbread I have smelt in a wax I loved it it was strong it was very gingerbready um, it was spicy you got that molasses oh I would absolutely purchase this again over and over same with fireflies purchase those again easily no questions asked okay down to our last few um cam jack wax this is spiced pear bread so spiced zucchini sugar sweet bread cinnamon blended with honey spiced pears yes so i would purchase this over um the scentsy whipped pear with vanilla pear this one was beautiful there was that spice to it there was a pear the honey like you could smell all of that in there and smelt a little less to me generic -y, if that makes sense um then i got through some melted mousse um this is grinch mist so crushed almond cookies and pistachio nut cupcakes anything with pistachio and almonds i'm here for it and cupcakes here for it um i will say that i didn't get as I, the performance wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be, um, but it, it, it threw, this was more like a five for me and I was hoping for more like a seven. So it was beautiful, but more of a background. It wasn't as strong as I was hoping. Then almond waffle cone. So crushed sugared almonds and waffle cone. And then Abominable, this is Sugar Cookies, Candy Canes, and White Chocolate Noel. This one was really, really pretty. Enjoyed it. Once again, it was more like a five. Not as strong as I was hoping it was going to be, but that's okay. It was still beautiful in my home. Um, and then this is from Sweet Two Cents. I, um, she messaged me. Heather wanted to find, like wanted my opinion because this is her the new um, parasoy wax and she wanted my opinion so out in my living room I had a circle um, and a little snap bar um, this is bonfire so uh, let me see <clears throat> let me get down here at the bottom real quick um, this one I did I would say if she ever comes out with a, in a loaf form, I would definitely do it um, because I, I wasn't able to put it in every single warm room, which is fine. Um, <clears throat> oh my goodness. That's what I, I'm talking a lot. Bonfire. Oh, I didn't put any notes in here. Um, this was really, this was really nice. Enjoyed this one tremendously. I would absolutely buy it again. And then here in the office, um, I have my small warmer here, so I did Cali Coffee Spot, and then um, I had a longer snap bar, and I was able to put it in four of these warmers, five of these warmers. This is French Toast. 
This, my room, smelt like breakfast. This room smelt divine and delicious, and I would purchase those again. I would repurchase. I am going to repurchase some Sweet Tooth, and I would absolutely buy these in loaves or tubs or whatever. So um, there's that. Congratulations, Heather. Phenomenal. Well, well done, my friends. Well done. Okay, you guys, that is all I got. And I have to take the daughter to work and then come back and film some more videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and comment on whatever you want. And let's do a little chitty chat, shall we? All right. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.